Hey vlog, welcome to my guys. Now some people say traditions are peer pressure from dead people. Now since the dead are not here to defend themselves, we figured maybe the currently living can do better. So we asked people online what new holiday traditions Filipinos should adopt for the new year. I am Bugadix Burum from the Bo City, and these are brand new Filipino traditions for the new year. Let's go! Okay, this one's from Kath. The Ina Anak will give gifts to the Ninong or Nina. Basically, the nephews and nieces will give the gifts to their godparents instead of the other way around. You guys better not hide from us because we know all the tricks. All of them. I've been doing them for years. You can't hide from me. If this holiday was real. Another Leo G says, Hunger Games. Ha! <laughs> After all the food we eat over the holidays, we eat as much food as bears eat before they hibernate. So a hunger game after the new year might just be a good idea to kick off that diet or the new year's resolutions you were planning to do this year. Jason says, no panty day. Well, I do no brief day every day and not by choice. I hope that counts. From Gerali, National No Social Media Day. That's a great idea. A bit of fasting, not just from food, but fasting from the internet. All the stresses that comes along with it. Away from the trolls, away from fake news, away from all that negativity. Great idea. Here's one from Zilasr Araj Nora. Says, Happy Chismis Day. A Filipino holiday or tradition where we celebrate gossipers so that all the chismosos and chismosas will gather around and talk everyone else's lives non-stop. If there was a day where they can practice their gossiping, get it all out of their system, I think that would be a great day so that the rest of the year they can just keep it to themselves. Okay, JM says Kabit Reveal Day. I think we already have that. It's called Valentine's Day. Okay, Raphael says the purge, definitely. No explanation needed, I agree. Okay, JBF sent in Toxic Philippines Day. So it's not celebrated, but rather experienced by all Filipinos 27 hours every day. I think I'll give a hard pass on this one and I'll rather even choose the purge because at least at the purge, there's a chance of you surviving with a toxic Filipino you got no chance, buddy. Last but not the least, this one sent in by Lorraine. She says, social distancing from the annoying family. And I know we all need that sometimes, especially during the holidays, because she says she would rather work on Christmas day than spend the holiday stressing it out with your annoying family. I know how, how stressful and annoying it can get, but you just have to think about the context of things. Your family, who am I kidding? Yeah, I would definitely go for this. Mm -hmm. And that's it, mates. What did you think about these new holiday tradition suggestions? Which one did you like best? Do let us know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed it, do like this video. And more importantly, do check out the commentary roast video we did with Comedy Central, where I do an extreme Bogart take on holiday traditions around the world. Again, I am Bogart the Explorer. Cheers!